Hey folks, Abrasive here. Today I'm going to be picking this uh, Rosengren's 32A81S. Um, this is a safety deposit lock. It's actually a disc detainer lock, but uh, somewhat unusually it has a flat key. Um, so it's got really big discs in there and they engage with uh, different cuts in the key at different angles. Um, so this puppy has a nice strong steel key. Works a treat, we get about 270 degrees of rotation with the key. The first 90 degrees, of course, is where it's setting up and testing the disc. So if we don't put the key in there, it locks up at, uh, at just 90 degrees of rotation. So we'll uh, bring that back to neutral. This is the, uh, the pick I've made for today. Um, so you can see from the tip, this one's actually got a, uh, a little forked tip and that uh, fits over the tip of one of the discs uh, at a time. So you can jiggle test them. It's a, it's a two-way tip. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll show how that works a little later on when I'm gutting the lock. Uh, for now though, let's get cracking. Because it is a little wider than the key, we've got to work this in at a little bit of an angle. Of course, putting, putting it the right way around really helps. Now, get myself lined up. We need, obviously, a tension tool. I'm just gonna use this uh, multi-pick Z bar. It doesn't really matter what you use, though. Come around to a 90 degree start point. This uh, blue plastic bizzo is a, uh, is a guide to keep everything nice and Nice and aligned, because uh, navigating in this lock is a little bit tricky with the wide open keyway uh, and those really big discs. Okay, I'll get myself settled. We'll start picking. I'm going to start from the uh, start from the front of the lock and uh, work my way back. First disc is in a gate. Okay, second disc feels like it's in the gate as well. This one feels like a false gate. Alright, that feels free enough for now. I'll move on to the next disc. I've uh, just printed a new pick guide for this because my last one was a bit mangled and uh, it's a little bit stiff. I'm having a little bit of trouble moving the, uh, moving the pick.
one feels like it's in a gate. I'm gonna go back to the last disc. I'm not quite sure I got that one right. Actually, that feels pretty good. False gates on these are pretty deep. Sometimes you've got to counter rotate quite a bit to get them to where they need to go. Okay, not sure about that second last one. We'll see if I can set the end disc. the stack of discs and uh, now that the side bubble have moved in a bit let's see what I can find better. Ooh, this is really stiff. There we go. That's also a much better gate.
Alrighty. <sighs> okay, so that was the front disc. I'm gonna start from the very back again. Make one more pass. Hopefully that'll be that. disc is moving freely. Third disc as tight as. We're going to send this one. It's not moving so freely. I'm going to try setting this one again. That's much better. Fourth on the back sounds good. Fifth on the back sounds good. Good. Six sounds good. something when I was sitting that third. Sounds free now. And I think we're open. Yeah, there we go. So I know it's a bit difficult to see the front, so you can see the cam rotating on the back. 
and we're open. Alrighty. Now, I'm gonna grab some tweezers and gut this puppy. Um, I'm gonna try and do this with the pick in so that you can see how the, uh, how the pick grabs the, uh, grabs the tips before I pull it out. Or rather how it grabs the tips of the discs. I should be uh, a bit clearer about that one. see the sidebar in here which I'm about to pull out. Nice healthy intact sidebar and uh, we'll take off these, uh, there's a washer and a disc at the end here. Now um, try and get this to focus, you should be able to see the, uh, the pick tip rolling around in here and you can see it's actually grabbed onto one of the discs at the moment. So uh, we'll see how close this thing can focus. You see it actually holds it nice and securely. And I can pop it off by um, just giving it a little push and it moves around freely. Now that, uh, that tip is thin enough that it can move in between the discs as well, which is uh, important for being able to navigate and uh, go up and down and grab these puppies. Uh, alrighty, I'll... Uh, Hoik the tip out and finish gutting this. Try and make sure this all stays in frame. It's always a bit tricky. So. <sighs> cam washer, cam. No coding disc so far. Washer. Whoop. Key disc. Oh, that tremor's bad today. the first four. Another washer, another sidebar disc, and the curtain. Alrighty, let's pop the camera out so you can get a good gaze at these. Oh, that reflection's shocking. Nonetheless, you should be able to see all the uh, all the gates in the sidebar there, all kosher. Now. Um, I'm hoping to uh, get a, an LPU green belt with this one, so uh, you probably don't want to watch this, but I'm now going to reassemble this thing on camera. Uh, there's like five ways to screw this up, and as you can probably guess, uh, I've learned that by doing all of them. So I'm going to see if I can do this without messing it up too badly. First things first, getting the... Uh, curtain the right way around. Now I actually don't remember which way this goes in. I really should have made a note. So what I'm gonna do is poke it in and have a look if it lines up on the front. Mm -hmm. 
That looks like the right way round. Then in goes. Now I've got this little twist of copper wire in the, um, in the sidebar slot. And the reason is, as you assemble this, you need to keep all of the, um, uh, all of the sidebar slots in the washers lined up. So there's no, on the washers, the spaces, there's no um, locating feature, uh, but the sidebar needs to fit in when you're done. So um, something needs to keep them aligned and that's what I'm using that little bit of copper wire for. It's a little bit annoying because they do have uh, a couple of washers in there that do have locating features and they're totally fine. So I don't understand why they didn't do that for the other discs. Um, maybe with their manufacturing jigs, it's just unnecessary. Um, and then we start with uh, key discs and washers. I'll just quickly check I haven't flipped any of these. I have in fact flipped one. It's a bit embarrassing when you put it back together and then realize it doesn't work. Okay, then I can start stacking it. Key disc. Washer. Glad I don't do this for my day job, not gonna lie. Then before the sidebar goes in, we have one more uh, one more sidebar control disc, which I'm going to carefully get in the right way around. And uh, this last washer also goes under the end of that L-shaped sidebar. <clears throat> All right, now we carefully pop out this bit of copper wire. Drop the sidebar in, usually takes a little bit of wiggling. Sorry, I don't have an overhead camera for this, that would be nice. Wiggle, 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 all right, that's all aligned. In goes the cam. Cam retainer. And the retaining spring. She's fucking apples, mate. I'm never taking this apart again. Thanks for watching.